Hey, I'm coming to you today with a little bit of tough love. We're into the second week of January, and I kind of want to see where you're at with your resolutions, with any changes that you might have resolved to make. Uh, by now, a lot of people might have fallen off, so I want to really encourage you, and I want to say that if you don't do the hard things now, it's not going to get any easier. It's not going to get easier to eat healthier, implement exercise, or uh, you know, reduce those processed foods, or cut back on the wine, or get enough sleep, and procrastinating on those, on those things is only going to cause you to just kind of fall into a, a deeper whole of poor health. So it's so important to just, you know, get started with something. And sometimes you just get overwhelmed. If you know that you need to make some healthy changes, you might think, oh, I need to start exercising. I need to sleep better. I need to reduce stress. I need to go on, you know, improve my improve my eating. But if you look at the big picture like that, you're going to just set yourself up for failure by trying to change too much too soon. So what I would suggest is taking the one change challenge, and that is simply taking one change, making one change, and implementing it for 21 days. When you only do one change like that, it's easy to remember, it's not overwhelming, it's easy to succeed at, and they can be easy things like making sure I'm in bed by 10 p.m., or filling up my water bottle four times a day. Try to make it measurable so that you know that you've succeeded. And once you feel like you're on top of that change, then slowly make another change. And over time, those long-term, like that's how you make long-term, um, you know, healthy changes by implementing those things very slowly. And you don't feel like deprived. You don't feel overwhelmed. I always come back to one of my favorite um, stories about a success story. And her name is Diane, and she is over 50. In fact, she's over 60. And she took the One Change Challenge, and it sounds crazy, but she stopped putting sugar in her coffee. That was the first change she made. And after implementing that change, she was able to lose 50 pounds. So then I always get the question, well, how much sugar did she put in her coffee? That's not it. She started with taking, you know, not putting sugar in her coffee. Then she changed her brand of yogurt to one that had a little bit more protein. Then she added one more workout during her week. So she just made small, small changes. So she never felt overwhelmed and she always felt like she could be successful. And over time, that helped to lead her to a 50 pound weight loss. And that's what can happen to you. And so I want to encourage you. We're going into, you know, the second week of January. We can make changes at any time of the year. So it's not that, oh, my goodness, January is the only time that we can. But I know that change is in, a, is in a, a top of mind for a lot of people. So I wanted to reach out and ask you how you were doing with your changes and maybe what changes are you implementing this week. And I hope that it's not too many. Set yourself up for success by, you know, choosing something small and then mastering that and then picking something else. I also want to tell you that um, I'd really love to be able to uh, create a personalized nutrition plan for you and I will do that for you complimentary uh, but you have to reach out to me and I'll tell you how that happens and it's it's you know you might think oh it comes with a huge expensive program no it doesn't it's very uh, user-friendly and reasonable and uh, would really love to help you I am so um, motivated to help women in particular with cleaning up their eating with um, you know small nutritional hacks that help them to um, th that's going to help you stop dieting getting off the the diet roller coaster I just hate all the pills powders and potions out there all the wacky diets that people are going on that are killing their nutrition or killing their metabolism so I'm really on it on um, a mission to help you through education with your nutrition so that's why I want to give you uh, you know a customized plan so reach out to me uh, I put my I'm going to put my my 
actual personal Gmail in the write-up because we're friends. And I'm also, I've also got a questionnaire, so that's a great way to reach out to me because then I get a lot of background on you as well um, so I can help you more effectively. So have an awesome day. Would be very curious to know what change are you implementing this week. Uh, write it in the comments. Try and, um, you know, we can inspire each other. And uh, have an awesome day. We'll see you next time.